Hey there, here's a uh, quick video of the Bezier uh, curve utility that I built today. Uh, the way this utility works is pretty straightforward. You provide it with a list of points. In this case, we have one, two, three, four, five, six points. You also specify the number of segments between the points, and they will draw this Bezier curve slash path going through all of the points. Now, you also specify the scale of these handles it basically by default sets these handles as a tangent uh, to the curve and the scale determines how far away they are which means if you give it a scale of zero you're gonna have straight lines between the points and if you give it like a larger scales then the whole thing will round out uh, quite a bit now in terms of the tool um, at first I had it generate objects and a bunch of stuff to represent the things visually but that was not very clean I decided instead to have the tool simply give you a visual representation of the Bezier curve or path and the tool simply spits out a list of all these interpolated points. Um, it also spits out a list of the major points that were in the list as well as their control handles and it from there you can deal with that list the way you want. So if you wanted to instantiate a bunch of objects along the curve, you could do that. If you wanted an object to follow the curve going through each of the points, you could do that too. So that way it's a lot cleaner. The tool, you just give it points and you get back out of it a list of all the inter interpolated points. In terms of manipulation of the points and everything else, you can uh, move the points around as you can see here with these different handles um, you can grab like this control point or any control point and move them around um, and it's pretty simple I can go to a 3d view Oops, wrong thing I didn't mean to grab it but you can see that I can move this stuff around so it works it does what it's supposed to do a uh, few things I'm going to change and add. I do like how these, uh, they call them move handles work, because uh, in 3D it's easier to be precise since you can move just up, forward, sideways, you can grab different pieces to move them around. The only downside is there's no way to rescale them and make them smaller, uh, and if you have a bunch of them on screen they tend to it's kind of an overwhelming kind of view. It, it's too busy. So as I was recording the video, it became clear that what I should do, instead of having all of those be visible at once, is simply draw the Bezier curve and represent the points with, let's say, a red dot. And when you click the red dot, then the move handle would show up, uh, which would be a lot cleaner. Um, I think with regards to the control handles, um, these are kind of nice because you're not too big, but in 3D, it's kind of hard sometimes to position them. So I'm thinking maybe I should do the same thing, represent those as a little dot. And then when you click on it, pop one of these move handles on it so you can have more accurate movement. The other thing to add is right now, if you tweak them around, there's no way to reset them. So I want to add a reset button so they'll automatically snap back as a tangent to... Uh, the curve. The next thing is allow you to basically, if you move one, have the other one, you know, match whatever the movement you did, um, and as well as like rescale. So if you bring it in, it would follow the other one. Uh, I think at that point, you know, that's pretty much all the stuff I think you would want to add in there. Um, I could add things where you click on the point and you select if it's a corner, meaning if it you know, it's supposed to collapse these things automatically to make it a sharp corner. Uh, and there's the issue I was saying with the 3D with these little guys, since it's kind of hard sometimes to see where they actually are. But anyway, so that's stuff I could add, but, you know, I'm not sure it's that needed. But anyway, so the little tool works, and it spits out the stuff, and it's cleaner than the previous uh, version that I had. So if you have any ideas, thoughts, or suggestions, let me know. Right now it's using a quadratic uh, interpolation on the points. I could set it up where uh, you could choose if you want cubic, at which point you would have just one handle in between the two points. But I don't know if that's needed or not. So that's it. Uh, give me your thoughts and feedback. Thanks. Bye-bye.